Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Illini Central Gymnasium uh, for tonight's girls basketball game between the Illini Central Cougars and the DMAC Chiefs. Uh, reminder about some upcoming games here. Uh, the next uh, girls game, and we will broadcast live all our home games this year. Next home game for the girls will be December 10th. Uh, they're at home against uh, South Fulton, and on December 13th, they're at home against Peoria Heights. So a couple of upcoming live broadcasts uh, from the IC gym, South Fulton and Peoria Heights. That's on December 10th and December 13th. Coming up on the boys' side, we'll have uh, next home game will be December 18th against Auburn and then December 21st against Midwest Central, last two games before Christmas. And uh, those also will be broadcast live on IHSA.tv slash Illini Central. Uh, if you can't make it out to the games, be sure and check us out, and uh, you can enjoy all the action of Cougar basketball on IHSA.tv slash Illini Central. Tonight's game, the Illini Central Lady Cougars against the DMAC Lady Chiefs. Pairs two teams that are yet that have yet to win a game, but after tonight, somebody will have uh, a one in the win column. Uh, that will not be the case after tonight's game, that they will both be winless. Somebody has to win tonight's game. Uh, DMAC coming off a spectacular volleyball season. They were the state champs in 2A. And uh, on their volleyball team were two of their basketball players, uh, Nikki Welch and Beth Mickna. Uh, if you follow DMAC basketball or volleyball, you'll recognize them uh, tonight in this basketball game. Nikki Welch, Beth Mickna played on the state champion volleyball team for DMAC. Let's talk about tonight's sponsors. Uh, we're glad to have uh, some sponsors for tonight's game. If you're in Mason City looking for a good place to eat, stop by at uh, Dos Amigos right in downtown Mason City uh, on Chestnut. And uh, great Mexican-American food at Dos Amigos. Another sponsor of tonight's game is Country Financial. Uh, also offices down Main Street. Josh Peterson is your local agent. Uh, he also has been doing some uh, broadcasting for us here. So uh, stop in and see Josh uh, for your insurance financial needs. That's Country Financial, uh, Josh Peterson agent here in Mason City. Also sponsoring tonight's game, Mason City IGA, hometown proud. Uh, Mason City IGA, a uh, great supporter of our athletics here at Illini Central. And uh, be sure and stop by and uh, spend your money on your groceries at Mason City IGA, where they are definitely hometown proud and a great sponsor of IC Athletics. And the final sponsor, Nichols Chevrolet Buick, uh, here in Mason City, out by uh, the junction of uh, Illinois 29 and Illinois 10, uh, Nichols Chevrolet Buick. If you're going to drive away, drive away with a car from Nichols Chevrolet Buick. And those are our sponsors for tonight. Be sure and uh, stop by and uh, give them some business. Uh, we're very glad to have their support here for our athletics here at Illini Central. We're now getting ready for the national anthem. We'll be right back once the national anthem is over with the broadcast of tonight's game.
Now then, we're going to meet the starting lineups for tonight's game. First for the Lady Chiefs, number three, Brittany Mitchell. Number four is Helena Hill. Number 11 is forward Nikki Welch. She's a 5'10 senior. Number 15, a guard at 5'7", a junior, Shelby McClintock. And one of the members of the champion, state championship volleyball team, number 20, Beth Mickna. She's a 5'10 junior forward. And those are the starters for DMAC. The starters for Illini Central will be number three, Ricky Calhammer. Number 10, Sydney Argo. Number 12, Dalby Thomas. And number 13, Rochelle Montgomery. And number 15, Selena Bradshaw. Those will be the starters for IC. By the way, the JV game, uh, hard fought to the end. Uh, IC tried to fight and scratch back into the game, but uh, DMAC was able to knock down their free throws at the end. And they pulled out a 40 to 31 victory in the JV game. We are just now concluding the introductions of the Illini Central starters. And we'll be ready for tip off here in just a few seconds. Both teams huddled up around their coaches. The referees are calling them out on the court. And we're ready to start some basketball action here tonight at Illini Central Gym. The Cougar Den. Montgomery and Mickna set to tip it off. Controlled by DMAC. They bring it across the center line. McClintock, top of the key on the left. Passes over to McNa. She passes it inside. Turn around. Off the glass. Missed by Hill. Rebounded by DMAC. Number three. Mitchell comes up with it. Three point shot by McNa. Is good from the top of the key. And DMAC jumps on top. Three nothing. I see inbounds. Bradshaw bringing it up against the press. She dribbles all the way through it. Splits it. Passes forward to Thomas. She has her shot blocked. Thomas shot blocked by Welch of DMAC, but it goes out of bounds. She recovered it, but her foot was on the line. I see to inbound under their own basket. Calhammer into Bradshaw in the corner, out to the elbow to Thomas. Back to Calhammer on the right side. Here comes Bradshaw dribbling towards the middle of the court. Still holding her dribble. Dribbles to the right side, down towards the corner. And we have a foul on DMAC. Foul's on Mitchell. She ran into the screen, knocked the screener down, and picked up the foul. Cowhammered inbound on the right side. Tries to throw it cross court to Bradshaw. Over her head, out of bounds. Ball goes back to DMAC. DMAC's ball at three quarter court. They inbound to McClintock. McClintock brings the ball up the court. Across the center line. Maintaining her dribble. Passes to the left to Welch. Welch looking for the lob back to McClintock. Instead goes back to Mickney. It's tipped across the center line. She recovers, but as she comes across. And there's going to be a discussion now. And after discussion, uh, it will stay DMAC. An inverted whistle there, I believe. Ball comes back into McClintock. McClintock between the circles over on the left side to Welch. Welch looking inside, can't find anybody. Passes to uh, a Cutter Hill, but she can't handle it. 
Picked off by IC. Here comes Bradshaw on the attack. Between the circles. Looking to the right side. Off to Calhammer on the right wing. She tries to drive. Gets it in in the low. Down on the block. Back to the middle. Montgomery with the shot. Touched last by DMAC. Goes out of bounds. Touched last by DMAC. IC will inbound under their own basket. Bradshaw inbounds to the corner. To Calhammer. Bradshaw comes back out to the corner, catches, drives along the baseline, scramble for the ball as it gets tipped away. Bradshaw comes out with it. Right of the key. Holds overhead. Over to Calhammer on the right side for a three. Misses. Mickna with the rebound for DMAC. She pushes it up the right side. Passes underneath down the right block. To Welch, who turns around and scores. 5 0 DMAC. Inbounds to Bradshaw. She's facing the press. Trying to dribble through, does. Coming down the right side, goes all the way to the basket, puts up the shot, and is fouled. It's a blocking foul on Welch. Did not have position. And picks up the foul. It's going to be two shots for Bradshaw. Bradshaw very aggressive off the dribble. Brought the ball all the way up the court. Went right to the basket. And picked up the foul. She'll be shooting two. First one up off the back of the rim, no good. Second one coming up for Bradshaw. Bradshaw shot, second shot up off the front of the rim, rebounded by Mikna of DMAC. She passes it over to McClintock, who brings it up, breaks through the Illini central pressure, all the way down to the right side baseline, back out top to Mitchell. Mitchell to the between the circles, on the right side to Hill. Hill holding, looking, finds McClintock cutting across the lane. Her shot is blocked out of bounds. DMAC keeps the ball. Setting up an inbounds play. Wide open, coming down the lane is Mickna, and she gets fouled. I believe the foul will be on Bradshaw. Nope. On Calhammer. Calhammer picks up the foul for Illini Central. McNa shooting two for DMAC. First one's up and good. McNa's second one up. Uh, round and out. Rebounded by Montgomery of IC. She tries to pass it forward to Bradshaw. It's picked off by DMAC, and uh, they throw it. It's a backcourt violation. They threw it back over the center line. Mickna with the steal, but uh, couldn't convert. Back to IC at center court, into Bradshaw. Between the circles on the right side. Maintains your dribble. Picks it up, passes back to Calhammer. Bradshaw back. Dribbles back to the middle of the court between the circles. Going to the left side this time. Picks up a screen. Tries to pass it down. To Argo, tipped away, but Bradshaw recovers, and she's going to pick up a foul on DMAC. Hand check on DMAC as Bradshaw drove from the left side. I see ball out into their own basket. Cal Hamburg trigger. She throws it over the top of Mrs. Argo. Sprinting down court is Hill to get it. She goes in for the basket and is fouled. Chance for the three point play. For Hill of DMAC. DMAC up now, eight to nothing. Hill shooting one. Shot is up and good. DMAC moves up nine to nothing. I see inbounds to Bradshaw. She's going to dribble it up against the press again. Has had a lot of success. They can't get her stopped. She drives all the way down, goes in, shoots and misses from the right side. Rebounded by McClintock. She's pushing the ball up court. She fires ahead. Off Welch, off IC, and out of bounds. DMAC's going to keep control of it. Errant pass, but uh, it ticked off an IC player before it did go out of bounds. They inbound to Welch in the corner. She kicks it up on the wing to Hill, back down the corner. To number 15, McClintock. She dives into the lane, puts up the shot, and scores 11 to nothing. 
DMAC on top. Bradshaw again on the dribble against the pressure. Over to Calhammer on the left side, back to Bradshaw on the right. Bradshaw tries to pass in the middle to Calhammer. She catches it, tries to go inside to Argo. Gets it there. She goes up the shot, misses. Scamble for the rebound. Come out of there by McClintock of DMAC. She's on the on the move up the court. Hounded by Montgomery. She pulls up, drives to the middle. Kicks off the hill. Over on the left side to Mitchell. Back up top. McClintock with the ball. To the right side. Mickna looking, passing into the elbow. Mitchell there. Passes down the baseline to Hill. Inside to Welch, who shot is blocked. Bradshaw comes out with it. She's on the way down the court. She passes at the free throw line to Montgomery. Montgomery goes up, and she's going to be fouled and be shooting too. Montgomery at the line, shooting two for IC. First one's up off the front iron. No good. Montgomery with her second. Looking to get IC on the board. Montgomery's second shot up and good. And IC's on the board. They trail now 11 to 1. DMAC inbounds to McClintock. She brings the ball up the court. Passes on the left side to Hill. Hill with a three-point shot from the wing. No good. Rebound by Montgomery. She gives it off to Bradshaw. Here comes Bradshaw on the drive. She passes down to Thomas. Thomas baseline jumper. No good. Rebound by Mitchell of DMAC. Ahead to McClintock. McClintock on the move up the court on the right side to Mickna. Three-point shot. No good. Rebound by Hill. She puts it back up and it's fouled. Three-point shot from the wing was long. Hill was right there for the rebound and got fouled as she went back up on the putback. She'll be shooting two, looking to build on an 11-1 lead. Pushing up off the front of the rim, no good. Second one by Hill, up and good. 12-1, number 14, Souter into the game for DMAC now. Replacing the shooter, Hill, 14 outer into the game. No press this time. Bradshaw walks it up court. Going against a 2-3 zone. Bradshaw to the right side, down in the corner to Montgomery. She tries to drive baseline, loses it out of, loses it out of bounds. It was touched last, though, by DMAC. Number 22, Whitaker into the game. Replacing Welch. 22 Whitaker now for DMAC. Here's IC on the inbounds play. Out to the left corner to Bradshaw. She drives to the middle, up to the top of the key. To the right side. Passes back to the left to Calhammer. Down on the baseline to Thomas. Her shot is up, no good. Rebounded by DMAC. Mickna with the rebound. Here comes McClintock. She's up between the circles. Passes to the left wing. That is Souter. She drives to the top of the key. Stop there. Passes back out. McClintock has the ball stolen by Bradshaw. Bradshaw off. Down the court. She puts it up. She scores and fouled. Chance for a three-point play. Bradshaw with the steal near center court. Drives all the way to the basket. Was fouled as she went up. Got the basket to fall. Goes to the free throw line looking for the three-point play. Number 24, Rhodes. In for McClintock. For DMAC. Kenzie Rhodes, number 24. Now it. Bradshaw converts the three point play. Line Eye Central now down 12 to 4. Number three, Mitchell with the ball on the right side. Pass to the top of the key. It's Rhodes there. She holds above her head. Passes the right side to Mickna. Mickna stopped out there. Back to the top of the key. Rhodes with the dribble to the left elbow to Mitchell down underneath of the block back out to the corner shot by number 14 Souter misses scramble for the rebound it ends up going out of bounds it's going to be off DMAC Illini Central ball Illini Central looking to cut into that 12-4 lead by DMAC Bradshaw walks across the center line 
between the circles. Now gets some pressure. Kicks to the right side. The Calhammer was cutting. Didn't see it coming. Stolen by DMAC. Whitaker up the court. Pass to the left side. To Souter. Souter trapped on the baseline. And we're going to have a foul call, I believe. Foul is on Montgomery. Montgomery of IC. DMAC to inbound under their own basket. Up to Mickna, her jumper at the left elbow, no good. Rebound by Argo of IC. Gives it to Bradshaw. Bradshaw will walk it up the court. She moves between the circles, passes to the left wing to Argo, down to the block to Montgomery. She comes up short on her shot. Rebound, DMAC. Here comes Mitchell. To the top of the key, to Mickna driving down the lane, no good. Rebound though by DMAC. By Rhodes up, no good. IC comes out with the rebound next. Calhammer with it, gets it to Bradshaw. Bradshaw drives to the right, looking cross court, finds Thomas. Thomas dribbles out to the wing. Swings it across to off of Bradshaw's hands, a little bit too high on the pass, off Bradshaw's hands, out of bounds. DMAC to inbound. <clears throat> Number 12, McGinnis now in the ball game for DMAC. She has the ball on the left side between the circles. Looks underneath, cut her open underneath. Whitaker misses. And in the battle for the rebound, Whitaker got a good look, missed the shot. And we got a foul on the rebound. Foul is on Whitaker as she went after her own rebound, her own miss. She fouled. And Illini Central has the ball. We're under a minute, 53 seconds to go. 12-4 DMAC, Bradshaw walking the ball to the court. She's between the circles, passes to the right wing to Calhammer. Calhammer looks down on the block, but over the head of Argo, out of bounds. Wanted to go inside, wanted to go down the block to Argo, but the pass was too high, it's out of bounds. Here comes DMAC now. Rhodes bringing the ball to the court, walking the ball. She's at the center line, she crosses it. Kicks to the right side to Mickna. Mickna. Right side of the key. Drives, pulls up, shoots. Rebound, fought for. Out of bounds, off red. Off DMAC, IC ball. Looking to get a score here in the last seconds of the quarter. Cut into that 12 to four DMAC lead. Bradshaw bringing it up court. We're at 15 seconds, Bradshaw across the center line. At the free throw line, Montgomery turns, shoots, misses, Argo. Gets the rebound, passes out to Calhammer, back out to Bradshaw. Bradshaw for three, no good. Rebound, I see a scramble. Montgomery was in there, tied up. It's a held ball, and it's going to I see. Bradshaw will trigger it underneath their own basket. Calhammer out, tries to throw it to Dalby Thomas at the left elbow. It's picked off by DMAC. Time runs out before they can get a shot off. End of one quarter. DMAC leads 12 to 4. Reminder tonight's game brought to you by Nichols Chevrolet Buick. If you're going to drive away, in a car, drive away in a car from Nichols Chevrolet Buick here in Mason City out at the junction of Route 29 and Route 10. One of our sponsors of Illini Central Sports here on IHSA.tv slash Illini Central. If you can't make it out to the games, make sure you watch. And remember, they are on demand also. You can go over there anytime and uh, click on and watch the games. So if you don't have time while they're on live, you can go on there later and watch. Back to action here at the Cougar Den. D-Max ball. They inbound. McClintock across the center line between the circles with the dribble. Passes to the left of the key to Mitchell. Down underneath to a wide open Mickna for the layup. IC brings the ball up the court. Bradshaw. On the dribble, 
across the center line between the circles to the right. Wing to Calhammer on the top of the key to Montgomery. She puts her head down, drives, passes off for a three by Calhammer, around and out, rebounded by McNess. She passes it off to McClintock. McClintock on the move up the court to the left side. Hill with the ball, standing and holding, looking for something inside, nothing there. Passes to the right side to Mitchell. Mitchell down underneath, good cut. Up by Welch, she can't make the shot. Tries for her own rebound, ends up being tied up. I believe this should be IC ball this time. Pascatch, Bailey Pascatch into the game for Line I Central, replacing Dalby Thomas. I see bringing the ball up the court. Bradshaw on the dribble. Across the center line between the circles to the right wing. Calhammer, another three by Calhammer. Misses everything. Good hustle by Pascatch, but she can't get there to save it. Stepped out of bounds before she get it back in. It'll be D Mac's ball. D Mac inbounds to McClintock. McClintock bringing the ball up the court. She's across the center line, pass to the left wing. To Welch, Welch on the dribble, going to the right side. To Mickna, Mickna to the right corner. To McClintock, she's looking inside, passes down there. Kicked back out, McClintock again, up and off the rim. Good hustle play by D-Mac to save it, but it goes to Illini Central, Montgomery. Tied up at center court. Mickna. Right over there to get the pressure on, get the tie ball. And it's d possession on this jump ball. They inbound to McClintock. She's across the center line. Waiting for something to happen. Here comes the cut. McClintock looking to the right. Tries to go back to the left. It's tipped away, but it's recovered by d -Mac. Mickna up with the shot. No good. She tries to save it, but she steps out of bounds. And ball goes back over to Illini Central. Here comes Bradshaw bringing the ball up court for Illini Central. Facing that 2-3 zone of DMAC. She dribbles between the circles. Goes to the right side. Calhammer looking inside. Goes cross court. Tipped and intercepted. It's Hill to the right side, to the middle, to Welch. She hands it off to Mickna. She drives, has it stolen. And pass catch as she tries to head up court is fouled. Foul is on Mickna. Her second. Team seventh, Illini Central in the bonus. Into the game for the first time, number five, Kaylee Cruzy. Cruzy into the game for DMAC. Pass catch to the line for IC, shooting one and bonus. Pass catch free throw up, around and out. Rebounded by DMAC. Cruzy on the right side, cross the center line, back in the middle to McClintock. To the left side, to Hill. Hill looking, gets a cutting Cruzy at the basket. Up, no good. Missed the layup, rebound, fought for. We're going to have another held ball. Now this time it belongs to Illini Central. 5.36 to go, second quarter, 14-4. DMAC on top of Illini Central. Bradshaw bringing the ball up for the Cougars. She's on the right side. Looking, maintaining her dribble. Goes deep down to Argo on the... Right block, it's taken away from her though. McClintock with the ball for the Chiefs, bringing the ball to court, pass to the right side. Hill with a three on from the right wing, missed, rebounded by Cruzy. She starts to go up and is fouled. So Cruzy will go to the line, shooting two. Kaylee Cruzy. His first one up off the front of the rim, no good. Cruzy ready for a second. Up off the front of the rim. Scramble for the rebound. We got a jump ball called this time. It's going to stay with D-Mac. D-Mac taking the ball out underneath their own basket. Inbounded by McClintock to Cruzy. 
Two Hill from the left elbow, no good. Rebound, fought for. Welch had it. She ends up getting tied up. And this possession goes to Illini Central. Bradshaw again bringing the ball up court. Again facing the 2 3 zone. She's crossed uh, the center line between the circles. Gets a screen this time from Kale Hammer. Goes cross court to Pascat. She's up and good. Nice play. Bradshaw cross court to Pascat. She drove on in for the layup. It's 14 to 6. DMAC with the ball. McClintock to the left side to Cruzy. Cruzy dribbles back to the middle. Passes over to Welch. Welch on the right side between the circles. Passes across. Free throw line extended on the left side. Hill shot no good. Scramble for the rebound. Cruzy comes up with it. It's knocked away from her. Looks like Bradshaw got a handle. Knocked out of bounds. It remains DMAC ball. DMAC getting quite a few offensive rebounds. Pass in. Bounds goes back. Ooh. Uh, Hill, Hill didn't realize she could get that. Nobody had touched it yet. In that situation, you can throw it across the center line. Uh, she just ran across, thought it was going to be a turnover. Grabbed the ball, took a couple steps, got a traveling call. I see inbounds, Bradshaw, right wing, Calhammer. Looking inside, tries to go over the top, tipped away. Hill right there for DMAC, tipped it away as they tried to lob down into Argo on the block. I see will inbound it. Pass catch the trigger. Inbounds the corner. Bradshaw, quick three. Long. Off DMAC, out of bounds on the rebound. Stays with IC. Will inbound it from the left side this time. Pass catch again to inbound. Tries to throw it out top to Bradshaw. It's picked off by Hill. Hill driving down the right side. She tries to kick it over to the left side. Had Cruzy open. Can't get it there. Shot up, Cruzy comes out with it. After the miss, Cruzy passes it out to Mitchell. On top to McClintock, between the circles. To the right side, Welch with the ball. Looking inside. Passes to the free throw line, turnaround shot by Mitchell. No good, rebound, pass catch. She brings it out of there on the run, down the left side. All the way, gets tied up at the basket. And this possession goes to DMAC. Two subs in for Illini Central. Dalby Thomas back in the game. And 22, Lexi Robinson also checks in for her first action. Here comes DMAC. McClintock bringing the ball up the court, across the center line. Picks up her dribble. Bradshaw all over it. And we have another jump ball call. Bad place to pick up your dribble there. McClintock just across the center line. And Bradshaw, good defender like her brother Jordan on the boys' side, is able to get the, a held ball. Possession to IC. They inbound to Bradshaw. She brings it up left side. Dalby Thomas, free throw line extended. Back on top to Bradshaw. She brings her dribble to the right side. Tries to go down to the corner to pass catch. A little high off her hands, out of bounds. Cougar turnover, DMAC. Rhodes inbounds to McClintock. McClintock bringing the ball up the court. Passes over to the right side to Rhodes. Rhodes fires down inside to Cruzy. Cruzy up with the shot, no good. And a scramble, the ball goes to the floor. Scramble, another held ball. This time it goes back to DMAC. So they'll maintain possession of it. And we got a timeout called by DMAC. Don't forget about uh, our sponsors of tonight's game. Uh, we really appreciate their support here at the Line Eye Central and at IHSA.tv. Dos Amigos, great Mexican American food right in downtown Mason City. Uh, on Chestnut, uh, make sure you stop by and uh, have a great meal at Dos Amigos. Uh, by the way, that uh, restaurant is owned by the parents of the Bradshaws, Selena and Jordan, who play basketball here at Illini Central. 
Dos Amigos. Next night out, stop in for a meal there. Also, Country Financial, Josh Peterson of uh, Country Financial for your insurance investment needs. Stop by and see Josh uh, right here, also in downtown Mason City. He also uh, has been doing some announcing for us here. You might catch him doing a boys game. Josh Peterson, Country Financial, sponsor of IC Basketball. Here we go, DMAC on the inbounds play. They inbound it to Welch. Welch on the right side to Souter. Over to the left, Cruzy passes down underneath. To McClintock, she kicks it back out, back out on top. Cruzy with the drive, kicked away, she recovers. Back to McClintock at the free throw line. Jumper around and out, no good. Up by Cruzy, no good, out again. Cruzy, and I believe we got a foul. DMAC has been all over the offensive boards. I don't know how many they've got, but they've had a ton of them. And we've got a foul. It's called on the floor, so no non-shooting foul. DMAC the inbound. Ooh. Throw it out top, right elbow, Cruzy, blocked, grabbed by Welch. Welch is fouled, I believe, by Bradshaw. Foul is on IC, yep, 1-5, Bradshaw, first foul for Bradshaw. Welch at the line for DMAC. First one's up and good. Welch with her second. Second one up. Off the back iron. No good. Montgomery with the rebound to the floor. Maintains control. Gets it off to Bradshaw. Bradshaw brings the ball to the court between the circles. On the right side to Pascatch. She takes off drives. Kicks on the left side. I think she intended it for Thomas, but Montgomery was there. Thought maybe it might be for her. She got a hand on it and actually deflected it out of bounds. DMAC to inbound. They're up 15-6. 2.20 to go. Second quarter. McClintock with the ball, bringing it up court, pass to the right side, Rhodes with the ball, fires it down inside, tipped away, good play by Robinson of IC, got a hand on it, tipped it away, looked like uh, maybe DMAC might get a layup, but Robinson quick to recover, got a hand on it, inbounds play, good block by Bradshaw. DMAC ran a good inbounds play. Bradshaw came over to block it, though, and she got fouled. And she recovered her own block shot. And she will be going to the free throw line. Souter back in the game for DMAC. By the way, I didn't notice it, but uh, number 23, Johnson, also checks in the game, has checked in the game for DMAC. Bradshaw with the shot, bounces around, falls through. Fourth point of the night. For Selena Bradshaw, she has four of IC7. She's looking for her second one here. Second free throw up. And around and out. Rebounded by Welch. Ooh, Bradshaw with the steal. Uh, almost a steal. Had to save it back in. And DMAC came up with it. IC pressure almost forced a couple of turnovers there. Couldn't quite do it. Did cause some problem for DMAC. Let's see if they stay in it. Yep, they're picking them up. Robinson with some pressure. Here comes pass catch up to pressure the ball a little bit. Brought up. Number 14, Souter brings the ball up the court. Drives to the free throw line. Pulls up, shoots off the back iron. No good. And rebounded by IC. Rebounded by IC. Bradshaw had it tipped away while she tried to clear it out. But uh, last touch by DMAC. IC ball inbound to Bradshaw. Bradshaw walks the ball up the court. Across the center line, between the circles, to the right side, pass catch. She's going to fire up a three. It's good. That cuts the lead 15 to 10. Souter with the ball up the right side, to the top of the key, on the left side, Cruzy, back to the middle of the court, between the circles. She passed the ball to the left side to Souter. Souter drives down to the baseline, blocked by Bradshaw. The ball's on the floor. It's picked up. It's picked up by Souter again. Bradshaw over with another block. She gets a jump ball call on that one. And it goes back to IC. Bradshaw with some good defense. She's bringing the ball up the court right now. Walks the ball up. Again facing that zone of DMAC. She comes across center line. Goes to the left. Tipped away by DMAC. 
Stays icy ball. Robinson inbounds. Bradshaw to the left side. Pass to the elbow. Montgomery turned around. Shot no good. Rebounded by DMAC. Coming out of there with it is Cruzy. She stops. Passes cross court to Souter. Souter with the left hand dribble up the left side. Bothered by Montgomery. She tips it away. Picked up by Bradshaw. Bradshaw now up the court. Drives all the way. She's going to the rim. Blocked by DMAC. It's going to stay a line. I sent the ball, however. Good block that time by DMAC. Bradshaw tried to get to the rim. Had her shot blocked. I see the inbound under their own basket. Pass catch to throw it in. Bradshaw out on the left side. Brings her dribble back to the middle. Passes to the right side. Pass catch to the floor. Tries to get it back to Bradshaw. Held ball. Going to be DMAC. DMAC possession. 34 and a half seconds to go. DMAC up 15 to 10. <coughs> Kuzi inbounds to Mitchell. Mitchell brings the ball up the court for DMAC. Cross center line between the circles. To the right side. Dribbling the ball. Maintaining the dribble. Passes over to the left side. Welch. Welch looking for somebody to pass to. Pass to the top of the key. Number 23, Johnson, has her shot blocked. Here comes IC. Passes ahead to Montgomery. Stolen by Johnson. And Johnson's fouled by Pascat. She's going to be shooting free throws with 10 seconds to go. 10.8 seconds in the second quarter. We've got a one and bonus coming up for DMAC. That is Pascatch's second foul. Argo checks in for her. Johnson at the line for DMAC. Shooting one and bonus. Ten seconds to go. First shot's up. No good. She comes through. Gets her own rebound. Puts it back up. Misses that. Up to Bradshaw. Bradshaw's off to the races. Heading down the court. She's going to be fouled. She's going to get a chance to make some free throws and cut into that five-point lead. <clears throat> Johnson missed the free throw for DMAC. Got her own rebound. Missed that shot. IC came out with it. They got it to Bradshaw. She took off. Was headed for a layup, but was fouled by DMAC. Number four, Hill checks back in the game. Johnson comes out. Bradshaw with the one and bonus. First one up, good. She gets the bonus now. Whitaker checking in for DMAC. She comes in for Rhodes. Bradshaw with the back end of the one and one. Shot is up and good. <laughs> Nothing but net. DMAC has 3.6 seconds. They inbound it. Here comes Mitchell. She drives down the right side, passes over the hill, but they cannot get a shot off. And so I see closes the gap in the second quarter. They've got it down to just a three point game now. 15 to 12 at halftime. Halftime here, and the score is 15 to 12, DMAC. And now, let's uh, have a word about our sponsors. IGA, here in Mason City, hometown proud. Make sure when you're out looking for uh, groceries, when you're buying uh, all your stuff you need to make, all that Christmas candy and uh, cookies, make sure you do your shopping at our hometown IGA. Mason City IGA, hometown proud, and a proud sponsor of Illini Central Sports here on IHSA.tv slash Illini Central. Uh, we'll be back in just a little bit. I'll uh, see if I can get some scoring stats and uh, get that information back to you here before we start the second half. Uh, it's a close game here at halftime. DMAC up 15 to 12. Three point lead for DMAC as we go to halftime. Be back in just a few minutes with some stats.
Okay, we're back here at Illini Central Gym. Got a few stats for you. Uh, for DMAC, their leading scorer is Mikna. She has five points. She had one three-pointer uh, out of those five points. Hill has four. She got two of those on free throws. She was two out of three from the free throw line. DMAC shot four out of ten from the free throw line as part of their 15 total points. Foul trouble for DMAC, McClintock, and Mickna. Not in real big foul trouble, but they do each have two. On the IC side, Bradshaw, the leading scorer, she got most of her points at the free throw line. She's four out of seven there. Uh, four of her points out of her six came at the free throw line. Pass catch came in off the bench, and she ended up with five points. She had a three-pointer uh, in there uh, to help get her to five points. Free throws for Illini Central, they were five out of 11. Fouls for Illini Central, uh, only one really in foul trouble is pass catch with two. Scoring by quarters, IC fell behind in the first quarter. DMAC outscored them 12 to four. They then cut into that lead. They held DMAC to only three points in the second quarter. Uh, so quarters of four and eight for IC, 12 and three for DMAC. That brings us to a halftime score of 15 to 12. I want to remind you about the people that are bringing you this game, uh, our advertisers. And don't forget if you're dining out in Mason City, stop in at Dos Amigos for great Mexican American food. That's Dos Amigos in downtown Mason City. Also one of our sponsors, uh, he has an office in downtown Mason City also uh, on Chestnut, and that is Josh Peterson, your country financial agent. Uh, for all your in insurance needs, uh, your financial needs, investments, stop in and talk to Josh in Mason City, country financial. IGA of Mason City, hometown proud and a proud sponsor of Cougar Athletics here on IHSA.TV, Illini Central. IGA, hometown proud from Mason City. Do your shopping there. And last but not least, Nichols Chevrolet Buick. Uh, out at the junction of Route 29 and Route 10. Stop in and get a good deal from Nichols. If you're gonna drive away in a car, drive away in a car from Nichols Chevrolet Buick here in Mason City. Those are our sponsors. And there's the buzzer and we're about ready for the second half. Fifteen to twelve is the score. Give a shout out to all you people out there. I understand uh, Scott Cruzy's telling me that we got people listening to us, watching us down in Florida and in Texas and uh, uh, so, uh, welcome to you. I uh, hope you're enjoying the broadcast. It's good to know we got somebody out there listening to us. It's going to be IC's ball to start the second half here. We'll see who the starters are in the second half. For DMAC, it looks like we got number 15, McClintock, number 11, Welch, number 20, Mickna, number 3, Mitchell and number four Hill. That would be their starting lineup that they had at the beginning of the game. Same for IC. Starting lineups back in for both teams. And we start the second half. Bradshaw with the ball on the right side between the circles. Drives down to the right side on the baseline. Tries to go over the top down on the block to Argo. Misses connections. It's picked off by McClintock. She brings it up against pressure by Bradshaw. 215 is going at it. McClintock splits the defense, drives down, passes over to number 11, Welch. She misses. Bradshaw with the rebound. She's passing ahead. Cowhammer out ahead. Ooh, she double dribbled. Caught the ball, bounced it. And then threw a shot fake up there and bounced the ball again. Double dribble. Turnover. DMAC with the ball. McClintock brings the ball up the court. She's going to face pressure. She crossed the center line by Bradshaw. Passes over to the right side to Hill. Hill. Right side between the circles. Looking for somebody to pass through. Thomas with the defense. They pass into the elbow. Mitchell down underneath, and it's missed by Welch. Got a good look, but can it convert? Montgomery comes out, passes it back to Bradshaw. She brings it across the center line. 
Bradshaw on the right side between the circles. Looking down, drives down to the corner, picks it up, passes it in to Thomas. She tries to go up for the shot and is fouled. Thomas on the back cut, got the pass from Selena Bradshaw. And as she went up for the shot, she was fouled. She's going to be shooting two. Chance to cut into that three-point lead. Thomas's first went up and good. Thomas into the scoring column. That's her first point. Thomas with second. Up and good also. She makes them both. Nice. He has cut it down to a one-point game. Number 12, McGinnis into the game. Replacing McClintock. Mitchell bringing the ball up court. She's across the center line, right side. Picks it up out near the center line. Passes it over to Welch on the left side. Welch travels. Turnover. IC gets the ball back. Chance to take the lead. IC has not held the lead yet. They have a chance now. Inbound to Bradshaw. Bradshaw across the line. Between the circles on the right side. Over to Calhammer on the right side. Back up top. Back down to Calhammer in the corner, and she turns it over. Stolen by DMAC. McGinnis passes ahead. McKenna back at the elbow to Mitchell. Her shot's up no good. The ball comes off McKenna with the rebound. DMAC's got a lot of offensive rebounds. Mitchell with the ball, drives to the free throw line, kicks to the right side. Hill looking inside, passes across the lane. Good pass. She finds Mickna, and Mickna lays it in. Three-point lead now for DMAC. Nice pass on the back cut. Here comes Calhammer. She brings it up this time instead of Bradshaw. She's between the circles. She comes to the left side. She maintains her dribble. She looks inside. Tries to get it to Thomas. It's stolen away by Mickna. Mickna on the drive. Bradshaw back to defend. Good strip by Bradshaw. Clean strip there. She was able to get a hand on knock the ball down. Can't keep it inbound, so it's still going to be D-Mac's ball, but she saved a layup there. DMAC inbounds. Mitna again. She misses the shot. Comes off the rim. And here comes Calhammer down the right side for IC. She's driving. She makes a spin move. Looks inside. Doesn't find anything. Gets it down to Pascatz. She jump passes to the free throw line. Montgomery off the front of the rim. Pascatz with a great hustle play. And I believe they're going to count the basket. Pascatz, great hustle play. Got the rebound. No, they're not going to count it. I mistook the signal. He was pointing that it was on the floor. No basket, but a great hustle play by Pascal. She got the rebound. Foul was on the floor. Misread the signal there by the ref. He was pointing to the floor. I thought he was signaling the made basket. Inbound, Calhammer. Up to the wing, to Bradshaw. Back down to Calhammer. She dribbles it up. Passes back up. Bradshaw on the right side between the circles. Over to Calhammer. Three-point shot from the wing. No good. Rebound by Hill. She pushes the ball up the court quickly. She finally gets stopped by Bradshaw. Passed back across the middle. Tipped away by IC, but picked up by Mitchell. Mitchell with the dribble. She passes to the left side. Welch with the ball. The top of the key. McGinnis down underneath. Mickna outside, Mitchell with the three, no good. Off the rim, Mitchell gets her own rebound. Long rebound come out, Mitchell grabs it. Mickna looks to drive, can't go anyplace, passes down to Welch on the block. She kicks back out top of the key. Reverse around the left side to McGinnis, back up top of the key to Mitchell. Mitchell between the circles, over to the left side. It's McGinnis, she looks inside, finds Mickna. Mickna kicks it out to Welch in the corner. Mickna goes out to the corner, picks up the ball, it's dead there. They kick it out. McGinnis drives to the elbow, passes over to Hill. Hill back to Mitchell. Mitchell out near the center line. Bradshaw all over. It's got her pin there. She passes it off to Mickna. Mickna with the ball now between the circles. She brings her dribble to the right. Guarded by Argo. Passes down to Mitchell. Mitchell on the right wing. Guarded by Bradshaw. And double dribble. Good pressure by the IC defense. They extended it out, got good pressure. Got the turnover. Three-point game. I see with the ball. Four minutes to go. Bradshaw bringing the ball up the court. She's across the center line. She's down the top of the key. Passes right wing. Good hustle play by Pascatch once again. This time she will be shooting. 
Cowhammer shot an air ball from the right wing, but pass catch. She's brought a lot of hustle to the court for IC. She was right there for the rebound, went back up through the foul. She's now at the free throw line shooting two. First one's up and good. Pascatch with her sixth point of the night off the bench. Good job by Bailey Pascatch tonight. Lexi Robinson checks into the game for Rochelle Montgomery. Pascatch at the line. Shots up off the back iron. Rebounded by D. Mac Welch. Kicks it out. Here comes Mickna. Mickna on the drive. Pulls up on the right wing. Passes to the top of the key. Mitchell with the ball. She's looking to go to the right side. Pressure by Bradshaw. Passes it down. They find Mickna underneath the basket wide open, and she puts it up and in. Welch found Mickna, and Mickna scores. Bradshaw right side. Calhammer thought about it. Tries to pass it inside. It's kicked by DMAP. Thought about the three. Tried to go inside to Argo. It was kicked by DMAP. Aaron Ritter into the game for IC for the first time. Ritter inbound, throws it to Bradshaw. Almost stolen by DMAC. Back to Ritter. It is stolen now by DMAC. They have it, and Ritter's going to pick up the foul. First foul of the half on DMAC. First foul of the game on Ritter. Nineteen to fifteen. DMAC over IC. Mitchell brings the ball across center line to the left side to Hill. Hill holds and looks. Passes over to the top of the key. Mickna down underneath, wide open. It's McGinnis for the layup. McGinnis got wide open there. I don't know what happened, but uh, she was wide open underneath the basket. It's 21 to 15. Here comes Bradshaw. She brings it across center line, and IC calls a timeout. Timeout, IC. 30 second timeout. It is 21 to 15 right now. DMAC on top. I see had it cut down to one point game, but could get no closer. DMAC pulls back out ahead. We're under three minutes to go in the third quarter, 2.56 to go. 30 second timeout by IC. It'll be their ball when we get back to action here. First horn blows. Cougars break the huddle. DMAC breaks the huddle. I see ball at half court. Robinson to inbound. At center court, she inbounds it to Bradshaw on the right side. Bradshaw with the dribble. Bradshaw keeps her dribble, drives down to the free throw line extended, tries to pass it back to Ritter. It's stolen. Hill with the drive all the way down. Bradshaw comes back to block the shot. But it's going to stay with DMAC there, inbound underneath their own basket. DMAC inbounds Mickna with the shot. Good. About a 12 footer for Mickna. Nothing but net. I see falls behind 23 to 15 now. Bradshaw bringing the ball up court. She's across the center line. She's between the circles. She's looking for somebody to pass to. Goes to the left wing, pass catch. She drives. No place to go. Cut off. Stolen by DMAC. Hill with the ball. Bradshaw trying to dig it away. The ball's loose on the floor. Scramble. It's going to be a held ball. Held ball, and it's DMAC possession. Montgomery back in the game. Argo out for IC. DMAC ball, 2.17 to go, third quarter. They inbound to Mitchell. Mitchell brings the ball up court. Cross center line on the right side. A lot of pressure by Bradshaw. Tries to get it back in the middle. Stolen by Ritter. Ritter with the drive. Pulls up. Goes up for the shot. She's going to be fouled. Mitchell with the foul. Ritter to the free throw line. I see got DMAC to pick the ball up out by the center line. A lot of pressure by Bradshaw. They tried to center it. Ritter right there in the passing lane. Picked it off. Drove down. Couldn't get the shot off. But drew the foul. She's at the line shooting two. First one up off the front iron. No good. She'll have another. Looking to cut into that 23 to 15 lead. 
Whitaker into the game for DMAC. Mickna takes a breather. She hasn't set much. She was a member of that state championship volleyball team. Ritter shot up off the back iron, no good. Whitaker with the rebound, up to Mitchell. Mitchell pushes the ball up the right side. Keeps going down, it's deflected by Bradshaw, grabbed by Hill, Hill crossed to the left elbow, shot up from 15, no good, rebound underneath, that's gonna be good. Welch with the rebound, she's fouled. And DMAC begins to stretch their lead out a little bit now. DMAC has a ton of offensive rebounds tonight. They have been all over the offensive boards. That's been uh, a big reason, that is a big reason why they've got the lead right now. Shot is up and good, free throw good by Welch. Biggest lead of the night for DMAC, they're up by 11. Bradshaw with the ball across the center line between the circles, picks it up, fires to the left wing. Pass catch on the drive, nice drive. Off the front iron though, no good. It's Hill with the rebound. Ritter almost with a steal or back pass catch, I'm sorry. Pass catch, missed the shot. Didn't give up though, hustled back. He ends up getting a steal and ends up getting fouled. Foul on DMAC. That was on Hill. It's her third team fifth of the second half. Pass catch to inbound. Goes on the backside. Robinson underneath to pass catch. She goes up, has it blocked. That was blocked by Whitaker. Whitaker comes out of there with it. She's driving. She passes to the middle. Welch kicks to the left elbow. Back on top. Mitchell to the right side to Hill. Hill to the cutting. McGinnis under the basket. She misses. The ball's deflected around, and McGinnis ended up with it. Got her own rebound, but gets tied up, and it's going to go to the Cougars. Calhammer back in. Robinson comes out for IC. Bradshaw inbounds, gets it right back, brings the ball up the court. She walks the ball up the court, comes across the center line between the circles. Picks the ball up, fires to the right side. Calhammer looks to drive down to the baseline, kicks it down to Ritter. She's trapped down there, finds pass catch on the left side, can't convert, misses a shot. Rebound by Hill. Hill to the middle, to Mitchell, ahead to Welch. Welch out to Hill. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Mitchell, scramble. Gonna end up being a held ball. Ritter is in there for IC. Held ball. Possession, DMAC, 40 seconds to go. Third quarter, DMAC up 26-15. They're inbounding underneath their own basket. Inbound it to Welch. She misses a shot. Bradshaw with the rebound. Calhammer out ahead. Here's the pass. Good pass. Calhammer with the layup. 26-17. Good pass by Bradshaw. Head to Calhammer. IC gets the layup. They're down nine. Hill with the ball on the right side to the top of the key. Welch with the ball, looking inside. A lot of pressure by Montgomery, passes to the right side. Down to Hill on the baseline, back up. Elbow, Mitchell, Mitchell, a lot of pressure from Bradshaw. Dri dribbles back out, she's under a lot of pressure. Passes the ball off to McGinnis. She passes it down to Welch, and the buzzer ends the quarter. Good defense by IC there. A lot of pressure by Bradshaw. And they had a hard time finding anybody open. And they don't get a basket on their last possession of the third quarter. Third quarter ends. DMAC up 26 to 17. Don't forget our sponsors of tonight's game. We appreciate their support. Nichols, Chevrolet, Buick at the junction of Route 29 and Route 10. If you're gonna drive away in a car, drive away in a car from Nichols. Mason City IGA, hometown proud and proud sponsor of Illini Central Athletics. Country Financial, Josh Peterson is your agent here in Mason City. Make sure you stop by to see Josh for your insurance or financial investment needs. And Dos Amigos, looking for a good meal? Hey, go to Dos Amigos. Great Mexican-American food right in downtown Mason City. Those are our sponsors. Now we're back to action starting the fourth quarter. Inbound to Bradshaw. Bradshaw on the right side. Pass to Calhammer on the right wing. 
Calhammer back to Bradshaw, right side of the key. Puts the ball on the floor, tries to drive, no place to go. Kicks it back out to Calhammer. Calhammer to the free throw line. Montgomery finds Bradshaw on the right wing for the three. Up, no good. Pass catch, another rebound. Shots, no good. But pass catch is really giving I see a lift. She's got several rebounds. She's going to be shooting two. She was in the act of shooting. Pass catch, fighting hard, getting a lot of offensive rebounds. Making some hustle plays. She's at the free throw line. First one's up and good. Gets the lead down to eight. Pass catch is now the leading scorer for IC. She's got seven points on the night off the bench. Great effort tonight by Bailey. Second one up off the back iron, rebounded by Welch. She passes it out to McGinnis. McGinnis over to Mitchell. Mitchell to the right side, to Hill. Hill on the right wing. Looks to cutting McGinnis down the lane. Up and good. Nice play. McGinnis curled down the lane. Hill found her. She got the layup. It's a 10-point lead for D-Mac. 2-3 zone by D-Mac. Pass to the right side to Calhammer. Back on top of the key. A reversal around to Pascat. She's going to try a three. It's off. No good. Welch with the rebound. And Pascats ties her up. Pascats has been all over the place. Mickna into the game. McGinnis comes out. Mickna back in. She's the leading scorer here for D-Max. She's got 12. Back in the game now. Mitchell across the hill. Hill down the left side. Pulls up. Cross court to the right side. Down underneath to Mickna. Mickna shot up. No good. Bradshaw comes out of the pack. She's off and running. She's going to be fouled as she goes in for the layup. That's going to be on Mickna, I believe. D-Mac got a pretty good look, but missed. There's a scramble for the rebound, and out of the pack came Bradshaw on the run. And she's fouled. That's, the, that's not good news for D-Mac. That's the fourth foul on Mickna. Mickna has 12 points on the night. Shot by Bradshaw is short. She's got another one, though. Looking to cut into that 10-point lead. Bradshaw at the line. She's got six points on the night, looking for her seventh right here. Free throws up off the back iron. No good. Bradshaw goes right in, gets her rebound, goes up, and she's going to go back to the free throw line. Bradshaw and pass catch. Gotten some offensive rebounds, made some hustle plays. They're trying to keep IC in it. Bradshaw back to the free throw line. She just missed two. Let's see if she can knock down these two. That foul was on number 12. McGinnis, her second. Bradshaw misses again. Next free throw. Up and off the back iron, no good. Bradshaw goes in, gets her own rebound, uh, ties it up anyway, and keeps it on this end. It's going to be IC ball. They're going to be inbounding underneath their own basket. Calhammer to inbound. Throws it in to Ritter. Ritter at the free throw line. Jumper off the backboard, no good. Calhammer battling for the rebound. And Whitaker going after the rebound, steps out of bounds as she tried to gain control of it. It's going to be IC ball. Calhammer to inbound. Tries to get it into Montgomery. Stolen by Whitaker. Here comes D Mac. Mitchell on the drive, passes to the right corner. Hill down underneath to Welch. Turn around, up, no good. Rebounded by Bradshaw. Here she comes down the court. Got a head of steam going. She's going right to the basket. Up, no good. Missed it, but drew the foul again. Need to convert some of these free throws. We've been in the line quite a bit, not getting anything to fall. Foul is on Hill. That's her fourth. DMAC getting in some foul problems here. They've got nine fouls here in the second half. Brad shot the line. Up and good. Seventh point of the night for Bradshaw. Lead 28-19. Bradshaw second shot around. No good. Rebounded by Welch. Welch over to Whitaker. Whitaker up the right side. To the middle. Driving down the lane. Tries to pass it down to Hill. She has it. Kicks it out. That's Mitchell. 
from the right elbow. About a 15-footer knocks it down. 11-point lead again for DMAC. Here comes Selena Bradshaw up the court for IC. She's across the center line. She's between the circles. She tries to go underneath to Montgomery. Montgomery is tied up. She caught the ball, tried to go up for the shot. Has it blocked. It's going to be a jump ball situation. And I believe this one's going to DMAC. Yes, it is. DMAC inbounds to Mitchell. Mitchell brings the ball up the court. I see looking to extend the pressure out to half court. Pass made back over to McGinnis. McGinnis with the ball up near the center line to the left side to Welch. Welch over to Whitaker at the top of the key. She tries to pass it down inside. It's stolen by Pascatch. Here comes Pascatch on the drive down to the basket. She is going to be fouled by Whitaker. Whitaker tried to go inside with the pass. Pascatch, another steal. And then she was off to the races. Got to the rim. Got fouled. Couldn't get the shot down. She joined the free throw line, shooting two. Seven points on the night for Bailey Pascatch. Looking to add to that total. Shots up and good. Pascatch now has eight points on the evening. Great effort off the bench by Pascatch. Looking to get it to single digits here. Pass catch a shot up and good. It's a nine point lead for DMAC. I see trying to put some pressure on again. Here comes Bradshaw. Over to McGinnis. Ooh, she almost traveled. Back to Mitchell on the right side. Down to Johnson. Johnson drives in the lane. Passes over to Souter. Souter, or I'm sorry, Whitaker. Uh, back to Mitchell. Underneath to Johnson. Johnson up good. They've been able to get some good shots underneath the basket. Uh, haven't converted a whole lot of them, but they've got some good looks off some cuts along the baseline. They got one there. Johnson with the basket. Her first points of the night. Double dribble by Ritter of IC. They got the ball down on the baseline to Ritter. She double dribbled. D-Mac ball. They're up 32-21. Five minutes to go. Mitchell with the ball. Over to McGinnis. Back to Mitchell on the left side. To the free throw line. Johnson kicks out. And she got pushed. Third foul on IC. That foul was on Calhammer. DMAC to inbound on the baseline. They inbound to number 24, Rhodes. She misses. Rebound IC. Here comes Bradshaw on the drive. She goes up. Layup good. It's a nine-point lead again. Bradshaw with her ninth point of the night. McGinnis on the left side across the center line to Welch. Welch is trapped over there. Montgomery all over. Timeout taken by the coach of DMAC. Montgomery had Welch trapped on the sideline out near the center line. DMAC calls a timeout. It'll be a full timeout. I see. He's got it down to a single digit deficit now. They got to start cutting into it. We got four and a half minutes to go. DMAC on top, 32 to 23. Four and a half minutes to go. I see has got it down to one point at one time, but uh, DMAC pulled back away. They've got to start cutting into that lead now. They only have four and a half minutes in the game. They're going to have to get some pressure on DMAC, get some turnovers, and get some runouts. They have been able to do that some. They, they need some here. It's going to be DMAC ball at center court. Mitchell, Welch, Johnson, McGinnis, and Rhodes on the court for DMAC. Here comes Mitchell underneath to Welch. She goes up. She's going to be fouled by Montgomery down on the block. They got it down the block to Welch. She turned around, went up, missed the shot, but was fouled. 
fouls on Montgomery. Her second. Team fourth. Welch at the line. Up and good. Back to a 10-point lead for DMAC. Welch up again. And second one also good. Welch now has eight points on the night. I see inbounds. Bradshaw bringing it up. I see down 11. She goes on the right wing to Argo. Back to the top of the key. Bradshaw back on the right side to Argo. Back to Bradshaw. She dribbles center court. Looking for somebody. Passes on the left wing. Pass catch. Back on top of the key. Bradshaw stolen by Rhodes. She drives down. Goes up to the layup. It's good. Steal on the layup. Rhodes. D-Mac. Her first basket of the night. 13 point lead now for D-Mac. Right side, Argo on the wing, back up top. Right side of the key, back over to Argo on the right side. Long three-pointer, no good. Pass catch battles for the rebound, and it goes off her hands out of bounds. Bailey pass catch in there battling. Couldn't come up with the rebound, though, that time. She's got several tonight, though. DMAC to inbound. Got to go the length of the court. It's Rhodes. Rhodes up the left side. She's driving, pulls up, and she travels. Turnover, I see ball. They need to start cutting into that lead. 36-23, DMAC on top. Pass catch inbounds to Bradshaw. Bradshaw brings the ball up court. Left side of the key, over to pass catch on the wing. She drives, she pulls up, no place to go. Cross court, Ooh, looking for Argo, but it goes over her head. Out of bounds, turnover. Cal Hammer checks in the game, pass catch. Comes out. DMAC to inbound, three-quarter of the court to go. Inbound to Johnson. Johnson turns, comes across the center line, drives past Argo, drives down the left side of the lane, puts up a six-footer, misses, no good, but Welch on the rebound. That's been a big problem for Line Eye Central tonight. DMAC has got a lot of offensive rebounds. Welch grabs one there, gets fouled as she tries to put it back in. She's at the line shooting two. First one's up and good. That foul was on Ritter. She's got two. Welch notches her ninth point. Looking for her tenth. Second one up. Good. Bradshaw bringing the ball up the court. Cross the center line between the circles over to the right side. Back to Bradshaw. Top of the key. Three-pointer shot. No good. Rebound. Welch. Or, I'm sorry. Mitchell with the rebound. She brings the ball to the right side. She passes ahead to Rhodes. Rhodes drives. Passes in the lane. Johnson comes up with it. And there's going to be a foul on Bradshaw, I believe. Reach in foul. That's the sixth foul on Illini Center. We've got three minutes to go. I see down 15. DMAC inbounding on the left side. They inbound to Welch. She's back to Mitchell. Mitchell drives to the right side and we've got an illegal screen. McGinnis with the illegal screen. That's her third foul tonight. Callhammer brings the ball up the court for Illini Central to the right side. Tries to pass it down the corner to Bradshaw. It's stolen by Rhodes. Rhodes carries the ball as he drives up the court. Rhodes got the steal. Took off up the court. A little bit out of control. She carried it. 2.45 to go. 38-23. DMAC up. Dalby Thomas checks in the game. Ricky Calhammer checks out. I see he's got to make a run quick. Here's Bradshaw bringing the ball across the center line. She's between the circles on the right side. Looking for somebody to pass to. Goes to Argo, left of the key. Gets it back. Bradshaw drives down to the baseline. Brings it back out. Maintains her dribble. Cross court to Thomas. She has it. Goes to the free throw line to Montgomery. Her shot's no good. Rebounded by Rhodes. And Rhodes takes off up the court and is going to be fouled. See who that one's on. Could be one of a couple of Cougars. They're going to say it's on Bradshaw. Her third. Team seventh. D-Max shooting the bonus from here on out. 2.26 to go. I see trailing. 38-23. Bradshaw getting a breather here. 
Rhodes at the free throw line for DMAC. One bonus. Up and good. 39 23. DMAC stretching the lead out here with the free throws. Rhodes, second shot. Up and also good. Rhodes makes them both. DMAC is up now 40 to 23, 220 to go. Calhammer to the right side on top of the key to Argo. Argo looking, handing off. Calhammer between the circles on the left side to Montgomery. She drives into the lane, pulls up, shoots. No good. Battle for the rebound. Comes out of there to Mitchell of DMAC. She's driving up the right side. She's got Rhodes on the left. She finds her, passes over to her. It's going to be blocked out of bounds. Montgomery with the block. Pass catch into the game for Ritter. DMAC inbound and underneath their own basket. They come in to Rhodes down the lane. Up with the shot, no good. DMAC all over the boards. Rhodes with the shot, no good. Mitchell with the rebound, and she's going to be fouled. I'm sorry, that wasn't Mitchell. That was Welch. And Welch will go back to the line. The fouls favored IC just not too long ago, but... Uh, IC's racking up a lot of them here. We're at a minute 57. IC down by 17. Welch is first up and good. Make that 18. Welch has 11. Whitaker checks in for DMAC. Welch over the line too quickly. She was racing after that rebound. And got called for the violation. I see ball. Here comes Bradshaw up the court. A little bit quicker pace this time. She's across the center line between the circles. On the right side, Calhammer. She's going to shoot a three. It's around and out. Welch with the rebound. Welch gets it off to Whitaker. Whitaker. Over to McGinnis, over to Mitchell. Mitchell on the right side, on the right wing, back up top. She's between the circles. To the left side, Whitaker. Stolen away by Bradshaw. Here comes Bradshaw on the drive. She's going to go up and get fouled. Bradshaw at the free throw line, shooting two. First one's up and off the front of the iron, no good. Bradshaw will get the second. I see shooting two shots no matter what, whether it's active shooting or not, they're in a double bonus. Bradshaw second, up and good. Forty-one twenty-four. Minute twenty-nine to go. D Mac inbounds. Cruzy with the ball. She travels. Pressure from pass catch. Forced the turnover. Minute 26. I see down 41-24. They're inbounding on the left side. Free throw line extended. Pass catch into Bradshaw. She's got it over to pass catch on the right wing. Left wing. Drives baseline. Nothing there. Shut off. Back out to Bradshaw. Bradshaw to the elbow. Pass to Calhammer on the right wing. Three-point shot up and good. Calhammer cuts into that lead. 41-27. Cousy brings it up across the center line. Whitaker drives through the lane. She goes up, throws up a shot. No good. Dargo with the rebound. Here comes Bradshaw. Bradshaw up the right side. She's heading to the basket. She pulls up the free throw line. Kicks out the corner. Rebound pass catch again. She's fouled again. Bradshaw missed the three out of the corner, but pass catch there for the rebound once again. And uh, she draws the foul, and she's back at the free throw line. She has nine points on the evening off the bench. Looking for her tenth. And gets it. First one's good for pass catch. She has ten points on the night. Second one off the front of the iron. Pass catch down, gets the rebound, and puts it in. It's 41 to 30. 
Bailey Pascat, she's had a great game tonight. That's her 12th, 11th and 12th points. She missed the free throw. Broke right up the lane, grabbed the ball, put it right back in. It's a 41 to 30 game. We've got 47 seconds to go. I see he's going to bring the pressure, I'm sure. Don't forget upcoming games. Live broadcast of home games here on IHSA.tv backslash Illini Central. We've got uh, Monday, December 10th and Thursday, December 13th. Home games coming up for the IC Lady Cougars. On the boys' side, we've got an away game at Porta. That will be on demand after the game. Uh, we'll have that up. And uh, if you can't make it the game, you can watch it later uh, on our website. Uh, and then we have two home games coming up. Those will be done live. Auburn on December 18th. Midwest Central on December 21st. If you can't make it out to the gym, make it to IHSA.tv and watch the Illini Central Cougars in action. DMAC ball, length of the court to go. They inbound it. Mitchell with the ball to the right side. Pass catch stops her. Dribbling the ball. Timeout called by the DMAC coach. It's going to have about three quarter court to go here. Good pressure, good trap by IC, but they couldn't get the turnover. DMAC coach, quick to call the timeout. We got 40 seconds to go. It's 41 30, DMAC. DMAC to inbound, three quarters court to go. Hill to, to trigger the inbounds. DMAC inbounds to Mitchell. Mitchell drives up the right side. Tipped away from behind by Argo. Good play, or by Bradshaw, I'm sorry, to Argo. Here comes Callhammer on the run. Up the right side. She's looking to do something. Kicks it to Bradshaw. I see the oops. Not a smart play there. Hill, I think that's going to be her fifth, too. Going to put Bradshaw on the line. We got 27 seconds to go. A line nice central shooting two. They're in the double bonus. And that is Hill's fifth foul. She's going to have to be replaced. Mikna. She hasn't been in the game for a while. Mikna checks in. Number 20. She's got 12 points. She's also got four fouls. So Hill fouls out, Mickna comes in, Mickna with four. Bradshaw at the line, first one's up. Off the back iron, no good. She'll get the second. I see hasn't capitalized on their free throw shooting tonight. They've got several, haven't uh, shot them very well though. Bradshaw rounding out, battle for the rebound. It's gonna be out of bounds, it's gonna be off DMAC. Rochelle Montgomery in there battling for the rebound. It ends up going off DMAC. Bradshaw to trigger the inbounds underneath their own basket. They bring it out, back down to Bradshaw as she comes in from the corner. Her shot gets blocked. We're at 21 and a half seconds to go. Bradshaw to trigger the inbounds again. Let's see what IC does this time. Need a quick basket. Here comes Pascatch uh, down the middle, passes out to Calhammer. She's trying to get it back to Bradshaw. Bradshaw in the right corner. Dribbles, Calhammer's got to get a shot up. She does. It misses. Rebound pulled down by McClintock. And McClintock is fouled. And uh, she'll go to the free throw line. DMAC up 11. Nine seconds to go in the game. McClintock at the line. She's played a pretty good game tonight, handled the ball a lot early. She hasn't been in there for a while. Did a good job of handling the ball early in the game. She's at the free throw line now, shooting one in bonus. First one's up, no good. Rebound Argo for IC. It's taken away by Mickna. Mickna gets it out top. It ends up in the hands of Mitchell. And that's going to be it. DMAC a winner here tonight, 41 to 30. Don't forget the upcoming games on IHSA TV. Don't forget to support our sponsors. We're pleased to have these people uh, as our sponsors for tonight's game. 
Dos Amigos. If you're looking to go out for dinner in uh, Mason City, head down Chestnut Street and enjoy Mexican-American food at Dos Amigos. If you're looking for some financial advice, some insurance, check out Josh Peterson, the country financial agent here in Mason City. His office is also on Chestnut in downtown at Mason City. Mason City IGA, down, uh, hometown proud. They are a proud sponsor here of IC Athletics, and we're glad to have them. And uh, when you're doing your shopping for all that Christmas candy and cookies and everything you need to make them, go to your friendly local IGA store. And Nichols Chevrolet Buick, out at the junction of Route 29 and Route 10, Stop in and uh, see the selection of cars that Nichols have. If you're going to drive away in an automobile, drive away in one from Nichols Chevrolet Buick. We thank them for their sponsorship uh, of the Illini Central Sports. And we encourage you to go visit them and uh, spend some of your money there. Tonight's game, DMAC on top, 41-30. to 30. As I said, uh, don't forget our upcoming games on IHSA TV. Check out our website. You can see uh, the schedule for upcoming games. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Uh, if you can't make it out to the gym, uh, make sure you tune in to us here on IHSA TV. To uh, all those listening down in Florida and out in Texas, uh, good night from Mason City Gymnasium.